Now, David Tennant, of course, is no stranger to our TV screens. And in the next few weeks, he's going to be popping up in a number of projects that have been keeping him busy. And that's all before he makes his t return to the TARDIS as he's well. He's really busy. He's really busy. His uh, lockdown hit series, remember, Staged yeah, with Michael Sheen, brilliant. that was brilliant, is coming back, as well as the comedy drama There She Goes, about a couple whose daughter has learning disabilities. Let's take a look. A report of a young girl being abducted in this area. Do you know anything about that? Abducted? No, that's terrible. A witness said the little girl was dragged along the street by a couple and then taken into this house. Oh, yeah, that was me. And, um, that's tomato soup. Say hello to the nice policeman. This is my daughter, aren't you? <laughs> and what's your name? Rosie. She can't talk. But you can say hello to her. She doesn't bite. Which she does, actually. All oh, right. OK. Yeah. Is that... What's that? Is that have you been abducted? Sorry, I don't speak Makaton. I, I do. I, I bet, cos I'm a dad. I can, you know, buy a newspaper, but I... I know, um... That's want a hippopotamus for Christmas. She she likes singing Hans Christmas Cracker. That's that that is that's actually one of the songs. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. So doesn't come in handy much day to day. <laughs> <laughs> David joins us now. Good morning. You're in trouble there, morning. David. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's never it's never an easy life for them. Uh, in there she goes, but uh, but it's all based on reality. It's all it's the life of uh, Sean and Sarah, our writers. It's their family life that they've written down very honestly and very candidly. And uh, it's uh, it's a great it's great that we get to come back. We did two series. It's been quite a quiet little series, uh, I, I, but it's one of the things I'm most proud I've ever done. Really, uh, it, it's such a it's so beautifully written um, from the from the heart and from the the bitter experience uh, of, uh, of uh, particularly from uh, Sean's point of view who, who I played uh, Simon who's based on Sean Pye who who, who wrote it uh, who uh, you know it's uh, he, he's very he, he's very he, he, uh, he struggled a little bit through his life coming to terms with this very difficult family situation that they have but it's written with such and and, and he's been so honest about that and he, t he portrays himself as this uh, uh, a, a father who is uh, dealing with all sorts of things. It's it's with such humour, but such heart. And it's a. Uh, it, it, I'm just delighted we got to do another uh, another episode. And David, I think one of the really special things about it is actually you mentioned it there. It's the stuff that he gets wrong, isn't it? It's when exactly. he makes a mistake. Yeah. That's when he's like the most human and most vulnerable. And I think that's probably something we can all associate with. Well, like I say, it's all from real life. You know, this is very much the, the autobiography of this family, uh, and uh, uh, it, it's so. Therefore, it's about it's about it, it's about a very particular experience of parenting, obviously. But I think any, any parent can relate to this. Uh, uh, but but yes, it's the honesty. It's the fact that uh, Sean and Sarah tell their story with with no holds barred, and I think often. Uh, stories of uh, 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 children with special needs that are often uh, told quite sentimentally, um, uh, told, and, and this is not. This is very much the experience of what it's like, and it, that's there's so much love in this series, but there's also a lot of terrible uh, uh, realities to how difficult that can be, um, it, and it can be very funny, uh, as, as this series often is. But it's all, but it's also. It's also very difficult and very challenging. And uh, I, I know that it's meant a lot to families in similar situations who've never really seen their lives portrayed in this way before. So is it reality? I mean, some people have called it politically incorrect. Is it, do you accept that oh, label? Oh, deeply. <laughs> it's deeply politically incorrect. But, but, but that's because it's, it's real life and, and it's... Uh, it, it, one of the sort of coping mechanisms, I suppose, that that, that Sean and Sarah have developed is to is to sort of uh, is to face this with a with a dollop of political incorrectness, with a, with a dollop of reality, which helps them through what has been a very difficult situation, in which they have handled brilliantly and beautifully, but but not always correctly. And David, talking about difficult situations, I know lots of us will remember from lockdown, staged that very mm, yes. clever little idea. 
that just continues to develop. Now, tell us about what's happening with that. Yeah, we might, we've done a, a, a third series of stage. I mean, a lot of it was filmed, but this is the set. Yeah. I'm yes. you. <laughs> set. Live from the set of staged, uh, which we did in our house over lockdown. Um, myself and my wife, Georgia, in our place in London, and uh, uh, Michael Sheen and his partner, Anna, in their place in Wales. And um, we sort of did... We did an episode on spec way back in the spring of 2020. We just thought, is it going to be possible to make something? A friend of ours, producer Finn Glenn, came up with this idea, and then Simon Evans, the writer, wrote it. And uh, and between us all, we filmed it like this. We used our laptops, <laughs> and we uh, we put together this show, which we're now getting to do for a third time. But now, of course, we get to do it in, in the new normal. Uh, so this this final run of episodes, we do actually step outside the Zoom screen. And we were we spent several days in the same room as each other, which was giddy making. <laughs> that that giddiness that we all felt when we returned to actually see people in the flesh. <laughs> exactly. yes. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. I think we've got a clip yeah. actually. Uh, we've got a clip of you oh, in stage of the new series. Uh, and this is you pretending to be a reviewer uh, for your fictional show. Let's have a look. A wife. Does this wife have the inside gossip? Yeah, she knows a thing or two. And what did she like about the first episode? Oh, she's a big fan of that David Tennant. Really? Yeah, yeah. She thinks he's really sexy. And can we speak to her? No, she's busy right now. But she likes the first episode? Very much. Very much indeed. She said to me, David, Stephen. Stephen, she said to me. Who was that? My son. What's his name? Mervyn. Did you enjoy the first episode, Mervyn? I liked it a lot. He loved it, he did. You don't think it's just the same old shtick? People love the old shtick. People love the old shtick, bye. But critics are calling it boring. Tired Stephen, they're calling it predictable. What do you say to them? Well, they don't know what's coming. What's coming? Oh, something really surprising. I'm all ears. <laughs> David, it's still properly funny, isn't it? I hope so. I mean, it's a bold concept to be reading out bad reviews for the show that you're actually in. <laughs> in the show that Pretending you're actually in. Pretending to be in. someone else. Pretending to be somebody else, yes. Play with fire, you might argue, but... Yeah, we, we, it, it's been a great, it was a great tonic for us to do. And then returning to it twice now and sort of going down a level of reality each time. So uh, it gets sort of more and more meta uh, with, every, with every episode. And uh, so it, it, it's, been, it's been such a treat, really, to get to, well, to get to be in your own house and to get to play scenes with your wife and, and with your mate. It's been a, a treat. It got us through lockdown, and now it's getting us through normal life as well. But that's it, is it? This is the final series, last run? Well, I think we said that after series one and series two. So, <laughs> but it, I, I don't know. I mean, it, does, it did exist in a particular moment in time uh, when we were all locked in our houses. But, of course, now, of course, this is how we communicate now, isn't it? We're on screens and we Zoom calls are part of... They've be because of the pandemic, it, it, to an extent, they've become part of the vocabulary of our everyday life. I don't know. There's no plans to do any more. Do you know what, David? I think Stage is crying out for a live tour. <laughs> well, well I'm, sitting, I'm sitting on a Zoom screen in front yeah. of lots of people. No, I mean, that's quite real meta. Life. <laughs> I think that's what well, we're doing yeah. right now. <laughs> David, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Lovely to see you. Uh, Stage is on BBC One on Wednesday next week, the 14th of June, after the 10 o'clock news at 10.40. Yeah, and there she goes, is on BBC Two on the 21st of June. He's really busy, isn't he? It's all on the iPlayer. You see yes. it all on the iPlayer. Yes. He's busy. Always lovely to talk to David. Right, it's coming up to 8 o'clock.